Five more awe inspiring waterfalls. Number 5. The Sutherland Falls. The beautiful fords of New Zealand have been featured before in this site, but as gorgeous as the fords are, the water is not limited to the inlets. Just south of Milford Sound lies Sutherland, arguably New Zealand's most famous waterfall. Usually tall cascades don't provide a good representation of what a powerful waterfall should look like. There are exceptions of course, and the first edition featured a couple. So, keeping up with that tradition. The Sutherland Falls is an unbelievably tall waterfall at 580 meters, and is thankfully not too narrow, nor imperfectly vertical as with non-plunge falls, both common faults with tall waterfalls. Also the water flow certainly isn't weak and being reduced to a trickle as is the case with some of tallest waterfalls of the world. The thundering Sutherland Falls reminds us how height can be such a plus with enough water flow. Tourists say that the noise is more deafening than some of that of the other more popular falls they have been to. Now, that is power. Number 4. Jim Jim Falls With Jim Jim Falls, we slowly venture into that territory of the classic rectangular waterfall with a robust sheet of water falling in one single plunge. That, to me, is the perfect kind of falls, and I try to promote that in the previous edition as well as this one. Jim Jim Falls suits this purpose very well as it plunges 150 meters down from the straight cliffs at Kaikadu National Park, located in Australia's Northern Territory. It is seen best during the wet season, which runs from December to March in the Southern Hemisphere. So, with the desired copious amount of rain, the falls emerge straight out of the upper plateau with fantastic force. Sadly, in the dry season the water ceases to flow completely, but this makes for a remarkable transformation as the seasons change, and Jim Jim Falls delivers a very aqueous outcome. Number 3. Rhine Falls Rhine Falls presents itself as one big blur of rushing water. It takes some time for the eye to make out where the waterfall starts and ends as the deluge of water just camouflages with river Rhine, and there is no visible terrain present at the top as the sheer volume of the water covers it all. It is a lowly 23 meters tall, but boasts a large width of 150 meters, and together with the enormity of its water flow, Rhine Falls seizes the number 7 spot. In fact it always makes high appearances on waterfall charts ranking flow rates. And due to the fact that it doesn't carry any rapids and is large enough to have a distinctive appearance, it can be easily counted as one of the elite pure waterfalls. There are also a few viewing platforms which let you observe the falls from up close, adding to the feverish excitement. Number 2. Montmorency Falls USA and Canada have many things in common. One of them is that both nations are hosts to fantastic waterfalls. Montmorency Falls can be argued to be Canada's best waterfall, after Niagara, with its awesome dimensions of 275 feet in height and 150 feet in width. It certainly accounts for a grandiose display of falling water on the Montmorency River, in Quebec. Fortunately or unfortunately, as per one's own taste, they have made the falls easier to access by making a park around it. Complete with facilities to make the viewing easier. These include a footbridge across the falls and a cable car to transport you up and down the cascading waters. This tourist-friendly approach might detract some visitors preferring the thrill of a nearly inaccessible beauty left alone and hidden in its remote location, but then again. The number of possible views from varied angles would be limited without the constructions. Either way, Montmorency Falls is sheer greatness. Number 1. Calangela Falls When it comes to Calangela Falls, stats speak for themselves. It is 104 meters tall and can be 400 to 600 meters wide depending on the water flow. This and Golan Treasure can look similar in appearance to the Tizisat Falls with its flow consisting of long stringy plunges coming together to form a creditable sheet of cascading water, revealing brown ridges in between. But it's over twice the height of Tizisat, and thus, naturally, 
makes an appearance in this list. It is, by far, Africa's second biggest waterfall after Victoria Falls, not counting the many rapid containing falls across the River Congo, which should not be technically classified as waterfalls, as they look nothing like them. It's a funny thought that nature goes uninterrupted in spite of all man made conflicts. The former Portuguese colony took a long time to pull out of a civil war after its independence and is recently working on developing its tourism industry. Calangela Falls will definitely boost this effort.